Roll. 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 Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Just keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, enough of that. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Alex Fu. And, well, if you'll notice, I'm not where you left. I left you off last episode. Now there's a reason for that. Um, I had started into the third, or the third part of my last Let's Play recording session, and I started dropping frames like a madman. So I decided to just cut here to Mama Go Garage. Not much happened at all. But let's go talk to... I don't remember. Hal. Hey, Hal, you wouldn't have, have anything by chance to uh, shoot big insects with. Oh, sounds like you got some problems with the robo-guards. Better buy this neutralizing cannon. You won't be disappointed. You can hit as many as three targets at a time. Sounds pretty nifty. Let's go on. Let's extend that shopping spree and buy some more. The only other thing we, te we checked out is we went to... It's pretty nifty looking. Okay, digitalization terminated. Digitalization terminated. Whatever, I won't talk about that. Um, but yeah, basically the only thing we did was get a subscription to the Iris Network newsletter, and yeah, not much else. So it's not like we missed much. And, well, they don't really tell us anything more right now, so let's just go. So the cool thing about the neutralizing cannon is, well, like they said, we can lock onto three targets at a time, and I press A, which would usually be to shoot the cannon, but because we're near a dock, press A to dock, as it says up there. That's how you get in and out of the thing. The only bad part about this is there's really no way to, to aim up and down, so stuff like this gets incredibly annoying. So basically, hold A, and you'll see the red targeting reticle. Oop. I don't run into stuff. Uh, pick things. And once it locks on, just let go. And there we saw that guy go. And right now it doesn't matter if we shoot these guys, because later on you'll see if I hit them on accident or if I just feel like being a total jackass to, that um, you get fined a certain amount of units for shooting at them, because they are innocent civilians, and the Alpha Section does do their job slightly. Um, <laughs> my favorite part is just, like, what they what they say, Guys, you, you're shooting the wrong fellas, guys! What are you doing? Um, and I think I actually saw the Mama Go tugboat going around, picking up some of these guys. Good for business, eh? I think that's all of them. Yeah, that is. You're shooting at the wrong target, guys. <laughs> exactly what that guy just said. Um, basically, what I am going to do now is I'm going to go get some more pearls. First, let's repair this ship a little. Uh, I always like the little animations for the repairing while you're actually moving out. Like, the drone actually comes out and you can see it trying to repair your ship. Like, it doesn't do anything, but it's still a nice touch. But here we go, Looter's Cavern 1, which we should have visited a while ago, but... Eh, whatever. Make, it, make sure first that I'm not dropping frames again. Is there anything back this way? Is that just the way out? I bet that's just the way out. Oh well, whatever. I don't know, I find it funny that these guys drive police cars, but basically, they're gonna steal 100 units from us, and we gotta chase them down. Funny thing is, we can actually pick up more units than what they take from us during the race. So, but basically you'll pass this yellow thing, it'll spark, send the charge down, and you gotta beat it to the door closing. So, hold the right trigger to boost, which I don't think I talked about. There's two ways of travel when you're in the, when you're in the, whatever it is, the hovercraft. Um, the regular one, which is where you just direct it to go the direction you're pushing the control stick in, and then there's boost, which you just hold the right trigger and you see the rockets right there. Uh, just faster travel. 
a little less control, but these are fairly straightforward co courses, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, for the longest time, I always thought that those mines would actually hurt you if you would um, run into them. Now, another thing I never talked about, because we haven't needed it before now, is you'll see that I have boost capsules um, up in the top left. Basically, what you can do is you can assign items to you while you're in here with the black button on the Xbox controller. And you just use the directional pad to choose and then hit the black button like this. Like that boost will be helpful in other caverns to get by, but right now it's kind of useless. And I don't think... I think there's one chamber where we have to actually take a picture of a guy in here before we kill the guy, kill the looter, but it's not this guy. And we get a pearl. Where is it? Oh, that's pretty, that's really beautiful. I've never noticed that before. Just like the violet glow and everything. That's really nifty. I, I like a lot of the scenery, um, especially the caves, just because they've got all the crystal formations going on and all. And we're not going back to town because there's nothing for us to do right now. But now I can show you the main use of the neutralizing cannon, the reason why we actually had to get it. Now you remember these guys, that'll bring you back. Now we can take care of them. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Taking care of business, it's alright. Taking care of business and working overtime. If your train's on time. What? No, we don't want to go out. That's the other thing. Um, I believe left trigger is quick break. So that helps with turning. Although I never use it. I yet. It's not really important yet. Later courses it will be a little more important because it'll just help us get away uh, get around some obstacles that are a little harder to traverse. Um but yeah, for the looter caverns, just keep on the boost, and you won't have a problem this early in the game. I think there's, like, one place where we're going to need to use the boost. Actually, we might need to use it then. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're good. Um, basically, if it gets low enough, even though there's still a gap, you'll hit the top of the hovercraft, and you won't get, be able to get by. Ooh. Ooh, this isn't good. We're actually, I'm actually doing a lot worse than I was earlier today. Um, this is the second time I've rec I recorded it, actually. Um, ooh, we just made that one, actually. Ooh. That was close. Um, I don't really want much fail in this one. No, we got hit by the laser. The lasers. See, so, yeah, I got Just use the boost. It's happening. And you get enough of them that it's not that big of a deal if you use them. Whoa! Whoa! And we got them. I really like this cavern. It's just really big. I don't know. They did a really good job with scenery in this game. There's nothing I can really complain about at all. Well, I mean, it's an amazing game. There's nothing I can complain about at all, of course. But... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, my computer decided to freeze halfway through the recording er, that I took earlier this morning, and that's fine. I was at a place where I was fine ending the recording, but unfortunately, because of the program I use, um, I use da uh, Dazzle Studio, or no, not Dazzle Studio, um, what do I even use? I use the Dazzle, and I use the thing that comes with it, the program, um, Funny thing about this guy, actually, he won't turn you back, but he'll try to take you out here. Um, it's just a nuisance, though, because he slows you down. Uh, so where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We are at the Nutripils factory. And I think that's everything, actually, that we need to do until we get there. I don't know. This is a helpful thing to... Oh! We now have the animals, and we have the pearls uh, scanners, so we can actually tell where we can get the pearls now. Which is helpful, but we'll find them all anyway. So I'm not going to use it right now. But yeah, 
because of the way my program records, I could recover all the audio files, so that was fine. But the video file, the index was corrupted and nothing was recognized as an AVI file because it didn't close properly. So I had, had to re-record everything. Oh well. It still always tickles me that there's a piggy bank on the ship. Did we ever get a picture of Paige? We... What? We did not get a picture of Paige. What the hell? Get him waving. <laughs> Transmission received. I'll file. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I got the first time I played this. I don't think I got Paige until the very last, until the very last time you could get him. Just because you know I didn't think of it, because he's Vorax. there all the time. We're seeing more and more of them these days. I find it funny we get less for these guys that are a bit rarer and a little more as just no just as dangerous as these guys. We have only got 500 units for those these guys, and we got a thousand for the orange guys. I don't know. I find it funny. That's all. All right. Now, if you'll remember, while we were at the Iris Network, we can take pictures of these and send them to the governor and. Yes. It's the code that we deciphered a couple of days ago. Well, usually, you. her elite group of hackers, hacker buddies, will take a few minutes to find out the code, and they'll send Are it to you. Are you there yet, Shawnee? Don't forget that the governor can help if you're having problems getting through a military door with a code. Yeah, if yeah, yeah, he hasn't yeah, changed that, right? it, it's still that. Good luck! I think that's S9H7. I can't, I can't tell on my screen. Um... Ouch! Not me! Oh, wait, we have to do that here, that's right. So, S... 9... That is an H. H... 7? Correct code! Awesome! We can move on. <laughs> Dial's spinning. It must be something happening. <sighs> but... I gotta stop sighing during my videos. It's supposed to be here, it's supposed to be happy. And I guess we can't get past here if Let's go. we didn't beat the first dungeon, but there's no way we could have gotten this far if we didn't beat the first dungeon, so. I'm gonna help. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to keep on our toes now, Jade. Don't worry, Uncle Paige. We'll just take some pictures and get home. If it's totally gonna be that easy. Shawnee, I've located the probable positions of the Alpha's activities. I've added them to your map for you to look at. Yeah, but we're probably not gonna even check that. Just because we probably don't need to. <gasps> rats, rats, take picture. Perfect. I'll date and file it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I just like kicking him. Ooh, ooh, I believe this guy actually gets zapped. Go. Come on, come on. No! Aww. Oh well. Um, so we're kind of out of time, guys. So... We'll go this way. But not really. <laughs> it was completely pointless. Um, yeah, we're kind of out of time, so I will actually end it here, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. This has been Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Oxfil. See you next time.